Hello, welcome back to GOT, and you were probably wondering, when is Android 16 coming to the OnePlus Open? Well, guess what? It is here, and we're going to look at just a few of the changes. Not a whole lot, but let's get to it. So as you all know, they finally come out with the Android 16 on all the other foldables, and now the OnePlus Open, just maybe a week or two removed from the others. So let's take a closer look at it. At the opening screen here, see how it's got that nice new new moving video background? I really like it. and it has new clock settings and of course you have your your widgets on the lock screen so this is a really nice update and i'm really enjoying it turn that off again and let's try that one more time check that out that is so cool and if we open it up and do it from the open side see same thing really cool just a, a larger version now it has a really nice setting there for the clock you can do all kinds of things and let me go ahead and open this up and you can see here it's really not so different from the other folds and their updates, but you can see here, it's got a nice clear look of the icons, you know, the background of the folders. It's nice and clear, but it's not all the way through. It doesn't have the same glass appearance as like we have with the Honor Magic. The Honor Magic is the only one that really seemed to copy Apple fully by giving it that nice new liquid glass look is what they call it. Now there are some Really obvious features as you saw there on the opener, and that goes in settings. If you go here to settings and you start off with the home screen, home screen has this new all flux theme, which is really a nice update on this phone where you can do all this stuff where you have the large lettering here in the back. That's the one I'm using here. And see how it's in the background. You can actually tell it to adjust the depth. So see how the clock is in front, or you can put it in back. And of course, you can do all this with images, just like you could do with all the other phones now. So I believe that just comes with Android 16, which is really nifty. I'm really enjoying that. So we got this thing called MindSpace here. Basically, if you swipe three fingers up, it will actually capture the screen, and then it'll analyze it. And you can go into MindSpace here, and you can see there's the screen, and it's talking about it. But there's not really much to analyze other than it's just my <laughs> screen. So it's telling you what time it is and what the weather is. Uh, and it's talking about my social media apps. So that's pretty interesting. So anyway, it just tells you about what it sees. Now, there's another way to do that is if you go with three fingers down, you know, that's your screen capture. And you can hit plus to MindSpace. So that added, adds it to MindSpace. And it does the exact same thing. There it is. And now it's going to look at it and it's gonna read it and using AI to analyze it. That's pretty cool. Now, I'm gonna show you what it does on a website. Check it out. We go here and this is on the Galaxy Z Fold 8 that's in the leaks and rumors. So let's go ahead and do the three fingers up. It saves it automatically to MindSpace, okay? And then if we go to MindSpace here, you can see that article right here. Problem is it can only analyze what you captured. So the rest of the article is not really represented here. So there is a way around that, which is really cool. Okay. So we go here to this, and then we do the three fingers down screen capture. And with screen capture, you can scroll. So you let it scroll and let's see how it's going to scroll on its own. And it should scroll through the article. Okay. So here we go or to its limits, because the more you get the more narrow the image is and the less it can read. But let's see what happens if it grows, scrolls through the whole article. And then we're going to save this article and see what it does. So I think we've got just about enough of it here. We'll say done. So it's going to save that order article. And I'm going to say, put it in MindSpace. So now when you go into MindSpace, you can see the article that it scanned. And there it did. It did a AI summary of it. So there's MindSpace and simply how it works real quickly. You can see that you can collect a lot of data and it'll put it in one space so you can find it later. And what's really cool about it here is not only can you find it later here, there is a way to search. See right here, you can search MindSpace and you can type in what you're looking for and it should bring it up. Like you can see right there, I could type in Z Fold 8 and it's already there, but let's go ahead and type it in Z Fold 8 and see it's already pulling it up right there. So that's a really neat way to look at all your screenshots and find them later. 
Now, this is another feature that came to all the devices once they updated. You can take and send a message to it, which I'll do real quickly here. And it should go and see there, there's a summary that popped up right here. And you can open it up. And there's a summary of that message, just that long message that I just sent. Or you can actually click on it and it opens it up completely. So there I'm in messages. Then from here, you can hit the three dots. If I can access them, let's see. Yeah, move the recording, hit the three dots there. And you can turn it into a floating window or do whatever you want with it. Or you can just push it to the side by minimizing it. And it's off here. It's a floater. Now, I think that's really not a new feature. It's actually always been there in some form or another. But they're saying that's a new feature to Android 16. And it's actually working on the other phones a little bit differently. But I definitely like the way it works here. Now, another thing you can do with messages here, let's go to full screen here, is you can send images. So let me send an image here, see what we can do with these images, which is really a nice new feature that they've added to Android. You can see here, you've got these pictures and you can re-edit them and reimagine them basically is what they call it, or remix them. So you can see the remix right there, you just press it. And again, yes, we wanna do this. So right here, you can go ahead and describe something like you want. So let's go ahead and put Santa hats and ugly sweat Christmas sweaters on both of them. I kind of messed that up. So let's go ahead and do that. And we'll go ahead and do that. And now it's going to go ahead and reimagine those images, hopefully put ugly Christmas sweaters on both of them. And then we can see what they look like. So now all the phones are doing this now and it's all built into Android 16. There you go. They both got Santa hats on and ugly Christmas sweaters. That came out really nice. I like that. So there you go. That's something fun you can do with uh, messages, sending photos back that you get through messages. You don't even have to leave messages. Don't have to go into any kind of studio. You can just write there and remix it. So AI is working really good. Then talking about AI. In AI, you can go ahead and, and open up the Notes app. So you swipe up here. And here's one quick thing that also changed. They put the search bar at the bottom and set at the top. So when you are got it in your hands, it's easier. You don't have to reach all the way up to the top. You could just press on this and you can just type in your search. So I'm going to search for their note app. And there it is. There's their notes app right here. And you can see it's got different features here. You can do a, your to-do list and add your notes and it'll do an AI thing here where it will organize your notes or rewrite them to a way that you would choose to, for it to rewrite. So in other words, right here gives you a prompt, enter in the requirements based on your current contents. So in other words, if I'm doing a script for a video or whatever, I'll tell it to turn this into a nice script or whatever. Or this is a business meeting notes. It'll change that for you. So that's pretty nifty. So if you want something where you can just quickly record and save your thoughts for the day, and I know a lot of folks do that. They record things on the phone. This will organize it and rewrite it to a nice format that you would prefer. Now, this is not something I really use. So I don't understand what that mind mapping is. It's on there either. But anyway, so there's some updates that added more AI to the features. Now, other than that, I think it's still just the beautiful phone. It always is or always has been. And it's really smooth and fast. And I really am enjoying the, the speed of this thing. And I've never stopped loving this phone. It's, you know, was my first great foldable. I mean, I had the Samsung z fold three and then the four and then i got the pixel fold and then i got this thing and i really enjoyed this phone the, the one plus open until of course they stopped making them hopefully they'll come up with a new one this year so what do you think have you downloaded and tried the new android 16 on your one plus open any changes that you've noticed anything you want to share with everybody else leave it down in the comments i'd appreciate it and we'll go ahead and share that maybe in another video or talk about it in the comments. There are rumors of possible OnePlus Open 2 coming out. And if you want to check that video, here it is here. Until next time, have a wonderful day. And God bless.